appreciate you guys being here an hour later. Let me see if this has even got sound. Hurricane is in bed. Man, this is uh, this is going to be a rough storm for some of you guys coming in. Uh, yep, we got sound. I'm going to press. <clears throat> be a rough storm. I'm going to. You see that right there on the left hand side of the screen? They're saying 10 to 12 feet of snow is going to be floating in. 10 to 12 feet. And it's all coming down across the Sierra Nevadas. It's coming into Washington, Oregon, Cali. Uh, you're going to get some of uh, that whole western seaboard. And then you're also going to get Idaho and some of Montana with the snow. And, and some of the heavier snow, what is today, Friday? Some of the heavier snow is not hitting until Saturday and Sunday. And some of you, some of you truckers, just picked up. Matter of fact, let me put this up on full screen so you can see the. You can see that some of you truckers just picked up loads heading into Cali. Okay, and you see the white, the purple, the light purple, the kind of light white, and then the bright white, anywhere from five to eight plus feet. Five to eight plus feet. And then I want to show you this because that's not the only thing to look at. Just look right now at Donner Pass and some of the passes. Let me put some of these up. I have a couple pulled up for you. I want to do I do the stream this late. Whoever's out there driving, here's the Donner Summit. Well, you know what? And you can pull these up on your own. Let me go back to that on the screen. Donner Summit, Donner Pass. That's already you're already under chain conditions on Donner Pass coming across that. I guess one of the reasons I'm bringing this up, um, and I've seen while I've been sitting here waiting for this this stream. Look at that! Look at that! Let me make sure you can see it. Maybe I don't have it up on the screen yet. Nope, I don't think I do. I'm trying to stream outside in the mud room so that Hurricane doesn't. There's Donner Pass. Let me make it full screen for you guys that are watching this now or later. It's Donner Pass. I've seen trucks. You see one going the other direction right now on Donner Summit. Okay. Chain control is up. It's been up since this afternoon on Donner Summit. I would just tell all of you folks that are out there about to do this and about to jump on some of these runs that are heading into Cali, when you have the worst of the snow is going to hit between today and Sunday, and you have loads heading that way, I get, I get the mission, man. I get, I get the mission. I've just seen so many people mess their careers up, mess their money up because you drove into a snowstorm that was like this. They're, they're telegraphing, hey, this is going to be bad. This is going to be a bad snowstorm. They're telegraphing it. And yet people are going to drive into this. There's going to be, you're going to get stuck. You're going to get shut down. You're going to be on the side of the road. You may not have enough fuel, may not have enough food or water. It's going to get ugly. And I'm, I'm only saying all this that you guys pay attention. This is this is the Donner Pass you can find on just Google searching Donner Pass. Let me put up the Facebook page of the Truckee California Highway Patrol. Let me put that up. Because they run a whole page and they tell you immediately what's going on. This was at 8.40 tonight. Chain control is, is up. You see how slow these trucks are having to go. Now, again, up, down, up, down, up, down. You can see, see all these videos on their page, okay? If you go back and look at them. It's just, it's an ugly place to be if you're not comfortable driving in snow. It's an ugly place to be. If you've never thrown chains before, you did, probably didn't see that because I didn't have it on the screen. There you go. Let me scroll down so you can see it. I don't have Hurricane to help me do one additional thing. There you go. That was at 8.40 tonight. Now, I know it's 1 o'clock my time right now here in uh, God Bless Me, Montana. And you see this, and then you see the one I put up at the earlier part of the stream, what's going on. I would just tell all you folks, man, all you truckers, you can go out there and you can be a hero, but it comes down to why, why do you need to be a hero? I know you're going to get pushed by dispatch. I know you're going to get pushed to get the load there on time. I understand that. 
so many folks that have never driven in these kind of conditions are going to be pushed to drive into these conditions and you're going to get jammed up. Let me put back that map so you can see it one more time. I'll put all these links in the description of the video down below once we're done. This is the Sierra Nevada map showing how bad this is going to get for all you guys. Okay. And they've already gotten based on this map and based on the what they what they show up top they've already gotten 7 to 8 plus worth of feet they've already gotten 6 to 7 feet worth of snow they've already gotten 5 to 6 feet worth of snow at the top of some of these passes and some of you folks that aren't comfortable chaining you're driving right into it you're driving right into it so i would tell you when you get up in the morning if you see this video i would tell you to look at everything, every route you got to take to get to wherever your drop is. And then there are some times there's no shame in parking it, man. You'll, you'll feel like there is some other drivers, the company, the dispatch, they'll make you feel like it is. I just wouldn't, where I am now in my thinking, I wouldn't risk my career on highways to go get a load dropped off with this kind of storm coming in. Hopefully your company did the right thing and said, hey, park it, park it, put it in a slot somewhere, you know, get, get fueled up, park it, be safe, have food, have water, have a shower, and then we'll work out and see how long this lasts. Hopefully, because some of these passes are brutal, going up and coming down. That's the stream. You guys, please subscribe, like, comment, and share the video so other, other drivers see this. I know when I when we drove the, the the northern and northwest and west coasts from about November until the end of April, we always had our little apps on our phone for Donner Pass for uh, Oregon, Washington State. You have to, you have to, because things change in an instant. That's the stream. I'm going to get out of my mud room, but at least I didn't wake Hurricane up. Still might have though, because the Bassett Hound always runs through the woods. You guys be good. God bless.